the other thing I thought of is like, okay, so there's a lot of self-care things or moving forward towards goals kinds of things that I feel like I should do every day. And there's no way that that's going to happen. And I thought, I wonder if it could be like one week, Mm -hmm. I'll focus on this. And then the next week, focus on that kind of thing. Because to change day by day would be hard for me on my nervous system but I do also get bored with things um so I thought you know what if I focus on and there's an organization expert that I've been reading some of her material and one of her um things is three times a week is a habit (laughs) if there's something that you really want to do and you manage to get it done three times a week that is a habit just keep doing it at least three times a week And that felt like a lot of relief for me because I definitely have this idea of if I don't do it six out of seven, I fucked it up, (laughs) you know, but really if I hadn't been doing the thing, like for me, it might be meditation. If I hadn't been doing it at all, and now I'm doing it at least three times, sometimes a little bit more, I've made progress and that's really good. I am benefiting from that amount of meditation, you know, that three times a week is a habit. Because I was like, okay, um, I I do want to sing and dance and write. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to like play with the instruments that we have here and not have it just be like, oh, we're doing a sound healing night. Now I'm going to do the instruments even though I haven't like touched them for <laughs> mm-hmm. a musician to begin with. You know? Right. Yeah. So it sounds like you're saying, let's set aside a half an hour or something that's carved out where this, like, this is my... This is my thing that I commit to once a week. So this week it's playing with the instruments. That's that's what I save that half hour a couple times a week for. Next week it's, um, you know, maybe a certain style of detox that you want to kind of hit hard for that week. You know, you fill the time with that. You know, that so like that's a way to kind of cycle some stuff through that you kind of never get to, but you could get to them a little more often if you they took turns <laughs> on nice. your calendar. So no writing is something that I've, um, you know, now that I added, you know, having two voice lessons, I'm like, okay, now I'll add that to it too. But the writing is something that, I mean, I used to write <clears throat> and, and I've been really wanting to get back to that and for a couple of years. And I'm like, what is the problem here? Have you done the artist's way? Have you gone through that program? I found the, the book and I saw that I'd written all over it. So it's one of those things I must have done in the space where then I had the brain injury and I don't remember. So I obviously did it. She, she has a practice of morning pages mm-hmm. and um, where you've probably heard of it. You just literally dump everything out of your head. No judgment, never read it again. You just write, dump it down. And um, the theory is, and it was my experience that when I did that regularly, there was a whole lot less trash in my brain because I was just, I was just dumping the trash every day. And, you know, it's, you just write nonstop, no, no, you know, no thought, just write nonstop. I think it's supposed to be 15 minutes, but five minutes is is better than nothing, you know, to just clean the junk out. You know, cause just imagine if you clean the junk out consistently a couple of times a week for a few weeks, how much less junk would be in the the, that brain hole, you know? Brain hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 